this is uh, Harold's camp. We're down here today, and we're just looking around. Harold, you put you said you put a floor in t uh, yesterday. Yeah. Let me. Can I show it? You don't mind, do you? Yeah. All right. We're gonna film anything out. It's like, uh, this is uh, bed in there and everything else. This is where Harold's been staying. Harold uh, was one of the folks we uh, uh, had originally got into uh, uh, housing. We were supposed to leave the camp back in uh, this winter when they started ordering the clothes for the, the camp, which is still slated for June 1, 2009, as far as I know. But uh, Harold spent about three months in the housing and uh, had some difficulties with um, the payment of his rent and uh, even though he gets a check he ended up getting some late charges and uh, he uh, ended up getting um, evicted so you moved right he's uh he's moved back look Everybody hey, got my door wedges. out, man. Check well, he's had, this door. door's been here for a while. Everybody got, everybody got wedges and truck hammer. You got what? What did you lose oh, when you uh, when you left? There. I didn't give them away. That's what they said down there. They Is that where everything's they, at? They can, no, they said it, said it went the other way. They didn't want nah, it went so that way. So wait a minute, way. Harold. What did you lose when you were gone? What what ended up missing? Sledgehammer hammer and a couple of wedges. Okay. Everybody Nothing else, though. Everybody in the back, ready. To you think everybody in the back rated them? <laughs> they think Harold gave it to us. Harold gave it to us. What do you think, Dennis? Did you get in there and look? That's absolutely not. Nice. Beautiful, isn't it? I've He's got no place to come this summer. I'm telling yeah, you. Except Harold didn't do all that. Well, who the hell did? Dewey and you? No. Where is Dewey? Oh, come on now. Where's Dewey I've at? I've seen him before when, uh, when oh, Mike Dewey. lived here. Mike would have fixed this shit up. <laughs> Give him some credit. Well, he's got it's but it's it's beautiful yeah, in here, man. Credit for what Mike did. That's still really really nice. It's a little dark in here, and I apologize for the darkness of the video, but he's uh he can get back in his side here and he's got a, got himself the mirrors and the got the little. Yeah, you should have seen Mike when he was hauling that right there. He was gonna haul it down here on a, on a two wheeler. Right. So use the wagon. Get that big ass here. What are you trying to get, Harold? What was trying to get out of here? Had a double wide mattress in there. That sucker had to go. He what, where I'm standing? Like Took me and Mark, uh, uh, almost read. David, uh, he got the uh, thing up there. He come a little bit. Hey, little bit. Oh, that was <laughs> Hi, darling. Yeah. How are you? It's good to see you, girl. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good to see you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sneaking yeah, around in the back here. Every night. This is where you sleep a little bit every yeah. night? This is my bed. This is your bed. God, it's huge. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, you just fall right into that, don't you? Yeah. That's awesome. Are you glad Harold's back? Oh yes. Yeah, I know. Everybody that's missed my him. My dad. Uh, is that? That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Well, dad. thanks for thanks for sharing a minute with you us. Are. Didn't scare you, did he? Yes. Scared her to death. I got. I have that effect on people. You know that cowboy. So yeah, Harold. Thank you for sharing your uh, your place with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you. How long have you been back? Not Seven days? About seven days. Yeah. yeah, Dennis and I saw you walking about, I don't know, about a week ago and we heard that you had left. Um, when yeah, you Sarah got over here and I told her, I said, don't be jumping on that man. That man's out here to help people out. They kind of moved it. Did, um, I wanted to ask you just a couple things. When you left here and you went over to your new apartment, yeah. uh, what was that? I mean, that was really a hard transition for you, wasn't it? Yeah, no, no, not really, because uh, uh, when I had that uh, studio apartment with a big, big rain and stuff, I had a blast there. Did you? Yeah, I went and bought, I bought uh, $150 worth of groceries. Then I went up and bought 275 277, I'm close in that area. And uh, uh, Sharon, that boy, she was really cooking. She fattened me up quick. Nice. I know that, you know, people were worried that when, when you were over on the Drake side before the explosion, mm -hmm. uh, people were kind of worried about you because, you know, you didn't have people around like we did down here at the camp. Was that a, was that ever a problem for you? No, you, you miss I mean, uh, you go up there tomorrow, just, just be sitting down there picking and playing guitar, you know, and having a good time. Right. And they sit around bullshit. Yeah, you miss your friends. 
I understand. Um, and if, if you had a choice today, would you rather be here or there? Well, they told me I ain't welcome nowhere in the premises no more. I got my rent paid up. I understand. They wouldn't give me $100 deposit back. No? No, they said I had, uh, I was supposed to give a written, uh, thing out that I was moving out. I just walked in and told them I was moving out. They hit me with that $630, and I paid, uh, 330 off. And two days later, I had my door, I $330 more dollars. I said, I'll get that when I get my next check. So when I got that, I'm moving out. I mean, that's 60 bucks extra a month. Yeah, I'm sure, especially for somebody on a fixed income. Yeah. So if you had the choice, if you had the choice, and you could, you, you didn't have to go back there, but you could go someplace else, or you could stay here, what would you rather do? I'm looking for a place now. You're looking for a place now. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll see if we can help with that. All right. All right. Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. It's bad enough paying your rent. Well, hell, when you guys start hitting them late charges. Yeah, it gets real old real fast, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate your time today.